from the last lesson on the funk lead guitar, I thought I'd do a couple of sound bites on funk rhythm guitar playing. In this lesson, I'll show you how to play a funk style 12 bar blues that I wrote as a training exercise many years ago. And I'll talk you through a couple of the technical points once we've learnt the basic riffs. Here's riff one. Like so many funk riffs, this starts with an octave. Notice how I shift my hand position up two frets and play a muted note on the sixth string, shown on the tab as a little X on the third main beat. Before playing the uh, note at fret 7 on the D string with my first finger and note, um, the note at fret 9 on the G string with my third finger. And this is always followed by riff number 2. And notice that this uses the same notes, but this time there's no pause. So I find it best after the initial octave to play both these notes on the fourth string with the same first finger. Then it's easy to add the note on the G string with the third finger there at fret nine. So, Here's that first pair of riffs in slow motion. So we play through riffs one and two, and then repeat that to complete the first four bars. over a D minor 7th chord using a typical pull-off lick. So we start on the note at fret 5 on the A string, that's a D, and then play the octave to fret 7 on the G string. Then we play that same note again as part of a pull-off phrase down to fret 5. So that's... And we complete that phrase by coming down to the note at fret 7 on the D string. And then we finish with a repeat of that note at fret 7 on the G string and down to fret 5 with a little bit of vibrato. <laughs> then in bar 8 we have a riff that starts on the first offbeat. We start on the note here again, the D at fret 5 on the A string, and play across to fret 4 on the D string, and then we come back to that D, fret 5 on the A string, across to fret 5 on the D string, back to the D once more, and up to fret 6 on the D string. So we've got three notes here on the D string, played sort of chromatically, and they bounce off this root note D. And by offbeat, we mean that this is played as one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. So if I 
I'll pair those together. Then it's back to riffs one and two for the next two bars. So, so far we have we just used for bar 7, but moved up two frets to work over an E minor 7th chord. So earlier, over the D minor 7th, we played... Well now, over the E minor 7th, we play... The same riff, starting at fret 7. The last split we have to learn is played at bar 10, again over an E minor 7th chord, and features a chromatically ascending set of octaves. Again, very characteristic idea in funk tunes. So after our E minor 7th lick, we jump to the F here at fret 8 on the A string and pair that with the octave at fret 10 on the G string. Then we move that upper fret, do the same thing exactly, and the same for the next two frets. So I'm playing, jumping across from the A string to the G string. the 12 bar with another repeat of riffs 1 and 2 played over A minor 7th. So here's the whole thing played first in slow motion. lesson a couple of tips about getting the rhythmic feel for this tune right. Let's take a quick look at what's going on with the right hand. Here I'm using a bit of palm muting to keep the notes nice and damped and also to enable me to hit them quite hard for a great sort of percussive sound. Without the palm muting, that would sound a bit out of control. <laughs> I'm also using a technique with the pick that I call snagging. Holding the plectrum really, really tight and quite short, just with the very tip of the plectrum sticking out here. Then, as, I, my, as my hand flies past the strings at high velocity, I just catch the strings with the very tip of the plectrum, 
literally letting it snag them as the hand flies past. As always, the detail in this technique will take time to master. And I want to emphasise the importance of playing it freely and rhythmically and not too carefully. The precision and control will develop naturally as time goes by the more you practice. If you found this little video useful please click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials please visit the Secret Guitar Teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.